Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful DM to DF reading. I do hope you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So today is the full moon in Libra, so I do hope that you're taking extra care of yourself and if you're interested, the full moon in Libra reading is now up. It went up yesterday. So for this reading today, for the Divine Muscles to the Divine Feminines, I'm going to be using this beautiful orange deck that um, beautiful goodie created. They're very powerful messages and very beautiful um, pictures on these cards as well. So let's see what's coming through, what your Divine Muscles wants to share and express to you <laughs> during this full moon in Libra. Let's see what's coming through. Nice clear message, please. You're, you are most precious to me. I love it. It's my favourite card that the goodie created. And that's beautiful Swami that's holding this little bunny rabbit, which is perfect for this timing as well. New beginnings, spring and Easter as well. You are most precious to me. Yeah, you are so precious to me. I love you so much. And it may not see me at times, but that is the truth. And... You are my dream come true, being your true self, yeah. When you're your true self, being the unconditional love that you are, you're their dream come true. <laughs> you're the most precious thing in their life. So they're really in this love energy, you know, they're being who they truly are and expressing this today, allowing themselves to feel. And they're just seeing things so differently. And you can see with the base, Swami's got so much care with this beautiful, cute baby um, rabbit. And at the bottom of the deck is, you are my hidden treasure. Yeah, you're my hidden treasure. When I found you, I hit the jackpot. I hit gold. You're my dream and more than I could ever dream of. You're everything to me and you're so precious to me. And I can't wait to be able to share and express that to you um so that's beautiful for this full moon in libra isn't it that's coming through from the divine muscle so i'm going to be using the divine masculine honesty realizations from world sandra from world illuminator 11 11 this powerful deck and i did use this in <clears throat> the main twin flame reading that went up earlier and that was very beautiful <laughs> the divine muscles are you know, learning to allow themselves to express how they truly feel. And it's so powerful, this message. You are <laughs> my dream come true when you're in your tr when you're being your truth. Because, you know, we think that we're being truthful at times, but actually we're not because we're operating from fear. You, that one flipped out. I'm always thinking about you. You are forever engraved in my heart. Yeah, they're always thinking about you and how precious you are and they know that you're their hidden treasure mm -hmm. and they could be still hiding you away but they want to change this um and they're always thinking about you and how your life is going to be together i care so a lot to be said today i know i come across like i don't care about you but i really do i just need to work on myself first then to be able to properly show you how much i care yeah they love you so much and the reason why, you know, what all you have to do, Divine Feminines, <laughs> is to, to you care about yourself. That's the truth. You care about who you truly are. You are the most precious thing in your life. And when you actually start treating yourself as if you are the most precious thing in your life, that is being you've been true to yourself. And that is so magnetic to the divine muscles they feel this attraction to you because that's how they respond to you by you giving to yourself to show that you care about yourself that you're you, you're being the god or the goddess that you are <laughs> but you could be still feeling as if you know that you've got to, to see your divine muscling share that you're the most precious thing in their life You've got to do it to you, for yourself. That is you being true to yourself. And they find it so attractive when you're in your true self, loving yourself and knowing that you are precious. 
and that you're caring for yourself. It is so deep and it isn't what the ego wants to listen to. The ego just wants to listen, you know, about, oh, well, what does my divine masculine feel about me? Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, it's about, you know, you caring for yourself, knowing that you are precious and for you to be who you truly are, because that's how your divine masculine comes back to you anyway, by having this relationship with yourself and putting yourself first in your life. And at the bottom of the deck is solitude. Right now, I, I need some time to myself so I can process things, find myself and work it all out. Yeah, so they have been in this solitude for some time. And the silence, the stillness has been quite uncomfortable for both of you but that's when it is the precious time because that's when you really do have this relationship with yourself and you have this deeper inner standing of yourself <laughs> you connect with yourself and with god that's when everything just opens up and you you're able to see things so differently and at times it feels absolutely dreadful because you're not with a physical person you don't know what's going on but you're being loved so deeply in this experience because it's bringing you both back to, together. It's bringing you back to who you truly are because you're learning so much about yourself and about life and about how you've been operating and working in your life for such a long time. And it has been from a place of fear and you're clearing the fear from your life. So, so you can be at peace with your ego and you can function in this world with balance with who you truly are. So let's see what else comes through. This is beautiful. So they've been in this solitude and they're wanting to come out of this solitude because of what's coming through in the main twin flame readings. There's so much to be expressed. And with this full moon in Libra as well, it's supporting the Divine Muslims to give them the strength to actually be bold and take some action to feel safe knowing that luck is on their side, no matter what they're doing, that they're always taken care of. So I'm going to use the Divine Musking 101s next to see what's coming through. This beautiful deck from Liz. So you're the most precious thing to me. And remember, these messages are to yourself. And you're... You're my dream come true when you're in your, when you're in your true self. I'm thinking of what you're always, and I do care, yeah. And the truth is you care about yourself. It's just that we put that aside because we think other things are more important. Please forgive me for ignoring you. Please forgive me for ignoring you in this solitude. I haven't been ignoring you. I've given you, been giving you more attention than I ever have in my ever since we've been together because I've been fo focusing on myself and by me choosing myself and focusing on myself and allowing myself to be... That's me being close to you. That's me choosing you because we're one. And the ego, well, everything that I'm sharing right now, is it doesn't make sense to the ego. And that's why we get so full of doubt and fear. But we're removing these layers of conditioning, programming and realising that we don't have to function and come from ego we're we're learning to be who we truly are being the unconditional love that we are and not to up to think just to, to be and to, to trust our feelings to trust the love that we feel within us um so d please forgive me for ignoring you in this solitude i wasn't ignoring you i was paying you a hundred percent attention because i was giving it to myself i think about kissing you so they're thinking about you a lot and they think about kissing you, what it's going to be like. I want to introduce to my family as my one, yeah. And <clears throat> I see you on the big screen. So they think so highly of you. They see you as that person. They see you as that person that they just, they can't describe to anybody how they feel about you because it's just so intense it's so powerful this love and it is the higher love it's we can't explain it. it's unexplainable but they see you so wise they see you as this powerful being and they want to introduce you to their family as their one and they may have hidden you as i said with a hidden treasure treasure they may have hidden you and like i'm not gonna you know i'm not introducing that because they're frightened of that things weren't going to work out or maybe there's some you know complications or difficulties that you both had to work through 
where you know the families you've you've been born into they don't believe certain things or you know they've it's lots of different things different culture or religion and um or there could be age all of those things where you've had to be hidden away and it's made you feel quite you know as if your divine masculine is ashamed of you but they do see you on the big screen and they see you you know through you know they see you through the eyes of god they see who you truly are and they are so proud of you and they do want to introduce you to their family and they will introduce you to their family as they want because they're getting comfortable with being who they truly are because you're learning to do that divine feminines and they're thinking about kissing you and feeling hot as well and they might be looking at you on a big screen as well they might have clips of your videos and they're watching you on a big screen or you know they might be watching your social media if you're on social media so just put it into your situation and it will never be over between us because sorry it will never be over between us no matter what i say or do so whatever they're saying and whatever they've done it's never going to be over to, between you because you're one soul this is a divine relationship you're meant to be with each other and it was divinely orchestrated how you come into each other's life and they know that it's never going to be over between you um and you know just know that if you are experiencing silence because they've been in this solitude um that it means so much even though it feels as if that it feels as if nothing so much is happening by this solitude by this silence because it's showing that things are actually getting done it's showing that things are you know being pushed to help you come back together but the ego only sees the silence as something that's bad and it is if you know that it's a loss or it, it's you know something that we have to be fearful of if it's not working out for us but no it's if there's some uncomfortable silence happening where you just don't know what's going on just know that it's what's going on is amazing and it's supporting you so much and by this feeling of you've been ignored you're healing that within you because you don't care who ignores you when you're whole and complete within yourself you don't care who's ignoring you who's not ignoring you because you feel so good about yourself you're comfortable that's your natural being who you are and because of god this strong relationship with god so i feel as if i've gone on a bit along today but I hope it resonates and I hope it soothed you and helped you understand more about the twin flame journey. And it sounds as if I'm bonkers. It sounds as if, you know, <laughs> I'm talking a load of rubbish, but it is the truth. <laughs> it only sounds rubbish from the ego. So make peace with that ego. Make friends with the ego and just be aware of your thoughts and allow the thoughts to come in and just to flow through you and just not be affected by your thoughts. That's the whole point just to be so thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful dm to df reading have a fabulous evening or day whatever time it is where you're living in the world enjoy this full moon in libra because it is supporting you and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow that's if you feel connected to me and you understand me and i'm sending you all so much love my support my strength and light and i love you all so very much See you. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.